Hello and welcome. In this guide, we will walk you through the process of performing zero position calibration on your Asiga Max UV. Zero position calibration is essential to ensure accurate and precise 3D printing results. But one important thing to note is that calibration is only recommended when necessary. Let's get started. Please retrieve the black Asiga tool bag that came with your purchase of the Asiga Max UV as seen on screen. You will only need to use one tool. This is the calibration tool you will need for this process. Alrighty, let's get started with the zero position calibration. Please retrieve the build platform and install it onto the build platform holder and tighten down the build platform knob until it is tight and secure. On the main menu of the Asiga printer, locate the maintenance tab and continue on to the zero position tab. The screen will then prompt you to loosen the build platform. Please retrieve the calibration tool and loosen the build platform calibration screw located behind the build platform knob. Once loose, the build platform should be able to move freely on its Y and X axis as you can see on the video. Continue on by hitting OK on the screen. The Max UV does not use a calibration plate, so select Next. On this screen, press and hold the Move Down button until the build platform stops moving downwards and is flush against the glass. Please double check by letting go and hitting the button again to ensure that the height measurement is not decreasing anymore. Go ahead and hit next and confirm the build platform zero position by selecting yes. Now the printer will prompt you to tighten the build platform calibration screw. This part requires special attention. It is very important to get this step right. Place the calibration tool in the calibration screw and while slowly tightening the calibration screw, gently rock the build platform side to side. You will start to feel some resistance and as you continue to tighten the screw at some point, you will notice the build platform will no longer move. You need to get it to this position in order to continue. Make note of the calibration tool handle position. Note the angle slash direction of the hole on top of the calibration tool's handle and now turn 180 degrees until the hole I mentioned is pointing in the opposite direction. Tightening the calibration screw will take quite a bit of force. Doing this ensures that the build platform holder is now fixed and will not allow rotation. Continue on and select done. And then select yes to detect zero position. After this is complete, the printer will ask you if you want to take the platform back home in the up position. Please go ahead and select no. It will then take us back to the maintenance tab and from there select the position encoders button right under zero position. Select zero position encoders. As you can see, the zero position encoders is very off right now. Take note that the height of the build platform at this moment is at one. Press and hold down the arrow button until the platform gets to zero. Once you have confirmed that, go ahead and push the zero button on the left. Confirm that the measurements on the left column stays within a range close to zero. And also make sure that the diagram that you see on the right is showing the dot in the middle. Once all that has been completed, please go back to the main menu and select control and select vertical axis. From here, please select the home button and this will take the build platform back to its home slash up position.
and we are done. Go back to the main menu. And congratulations, you have successfully calibrated your brand new Asiga Max UV. If you have any questions at all, please contact our support team at Dencor. Thank you very much.